Hey, 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 y'all, what's happening? Welcome to our channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot, yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my ch ch gemini my Gemini. <laughs> what's going on, Gemini? Hi, Vibe Cross Watcher, welcome. Thank you for being here, sending you, all, you guys all the love, light, and healing energy. So yeah, keep in mind it's a general message. It will not resonate with everybody, nobody. So only take what fits for you, my loves, and leave the rest, okay? Choir, come to the front. <clears throat> One, two, three. Oh, T girl, Tarot, Magic and Collective. T girl, T girl, T girl, Magic and Collective. T girl. Tarot, magic, and collective. Check the sound and see what we're about. Ooh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. We sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. <laughs> Yay, that's what's up. Okay, you guys, there is a uh, earth sign who's very sad. Okay, this person is in regret. It doesn't have to be an earth sign. It could be, it, it seems like it's a business owner, an entrepreneur, somebody that's very successful that's in regret. Maybe because things aren't moving between you guys or they ended something with you. Okay, yeah, they feel a little defeated and they don't know where to go. I don't know. We're going to get into why this man is feeling this way. Oh, because you were this person's ten of cups and they walked away from you. Okay, so yeah, mm, they walked away from a brand new beginning and they've been in their head ever since and they feel foolish, you guys. This is an emperor energy. This is a boss daddy, a CEO entrepreneur. You opened up this person's heart space. Yeah, they feel they feel really bad. They possibly lied to you and walked away from you for a, a Queen of Cups energy who they had a family with. Yeah, Gemini. And now something's been illuminated that whatever, whoever he chose, now he's feeling he's coming, his head's coming out of the clouds now. Okay, he's realizing that this Queen of Cups is not who she said that she was. And now this Emperor energy, your King of Pentacles, has laid this relationship to rest. But now he's stuck at a fork in the road right now. He's stuck at a fork in the road because he realized he made the wrong decision when he walked away from you. And now he wants to come and make some love offer towards you. My apologies for the light, bright light. I tried to dim it down. It won't dim down. I had them open and closed. It was just too much. So let the Holy Spirit come through. <laughs> this man's in a fork in the road of how to come and offer you something because you are his person's wish fulfillment. This person's heavily drinking now. I don't know. Like, what happened, spirit? Why did it not work out? Why did he walk away? He chose the baby mama, maybe? Okay, he want to come and give you some good news. What? Okay, so what do you want to come and tell my baby Geminis? Or she? But I'm feeling this is a masculine energy that wants to come and tell you something. That they're, they want to start, they want to, I don't know, they want justice. They want to work, they want to manifest a new beginning with you. That's what they want to tell you, but they're scared. Yeah, because they're going through some type of karma, mate. Yes, he is going through karma. Look, 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 look. These cards try to pop out. We got the nine of swords and the nine of pen, uh, the nine of wands. This person's feeling like the wounded warrior, okay? And that's the truth. They feel stuck and hung. Why does this man feel stuck and hung? What happened to make him feel stuck and hung, Holy Spirit? Why is this energy? Why don't? Why is this? Oh, maybe. Ooh, I'm. I told. He, don't say this man was trying to do magic on you to cause some imbalances in your life, okay? They didn't want you to, oh my God, okay. I, this emperor is something else. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, You walked away from him, but he felt like he could do some type of binding magic or some hold magic on you to prevent you from walking away. He's in, He's under judgment for some type of work that he's done to hold you back from your destiny okay and that sounds crazy just by yeah he's trying to cause imbalances okay but god though stepped in it's like no you put my baby in a third party situation so why the hell you think this magic is going to work because they really want you to come in 
They want you to come and talk to me. Mm -mm. I really want to meet you. Can I talk to you? So they, this person did magic on you to make you, I guess, reach back out to them or message them and they spied to see. So I don't see that you're talking to this person, okay? You're not. This person is there. They want to win at all costs. That's all I got to say. So that's why they did this magic in the background. But God is beating their ass for it because... First of all, it's an illusion. God wants this person to come towards you in honor and in truth, okay? But this person's a coward, okay? They're afraid of why? Because they put you in a third-party situation and they were already married. Oh, and so now they're in balance right now, okay? Because God told them to hold back from this work, okay? If they want the Ten of Cups with you, this person needs to work on themselves and work on their insecurities and come towards you and message you and talk to you. Yeah, message you and talk to you instead of trying to keep you. So this man might have a third. He, okay, so what's going on, Spirit? Is he in a third-party energy? Did he leave the third-party energy? What's going on with that? Because I feel like he's still he's trying to creep back into your energy, still attached to a third-party energy. That's just how I feel. He holding on to somebody from the past. That's what's taking his ass so long to get there because he's got you still in some conflict and chaos. Or she. Okay. And when they message you, that's where they still going to be in some conflict and chaos. But they want to message you and give you some type of offer or apology or a cup of love or something. But they're drinking about it. They're drinking heavily, actually. They could be drinking up to nine pints a day or more um, because they backstabbed and betrayed you to give to somebody else when they should have invested you. So now they could be facing the CEO could be facing some poverty. That's why they're in regret. They went within and figured out that they chose somebody toxic that's caused them a heavy burden. Yeah, they didn't know. They didn't know this person was for the streets, whoever they chose, whether they have kids with them or not. Okay, they chose the wrong one. And this man is in his feelings and emotions trying to figure out how to make an offer towards you. So how does Gemini feel about it or the collective? How does the collective feel about this whole situation? Yeah, this man wants to make an offer and reconcile with you, but he's in his head because you got your sword up, okay? He's scared that you're going to cuss him out or cut him, number one. Yeah, he's all imprisoned about this new beginning. Is there going to be a new beginning, Holy Spirit? Is there going to be a new beginning? No, I, I heard that before I even saw the card. No, you're going to block this beginning from whoever this person is. You're going to remain single and abundant. That's the judgment call that you decided to make. Okay, or you will make, you're going to make the judgment call to be single. This person's going to be pissed off when you reject them. Damn. Why are they going to get so mad? Gemini is sword on sword. Um, Why are they so mad? Because Gemini rejected them after they did Gemini wrong or high vibe cross watcher babies wrong. Because they were like, bitch, you're supposed to marry me. I love you. This is crazy. I don't know if this man is emotional. He is emotional because I keep seeing the two of pinnacles, you know, juggling. Okay, he's upset because he wants to marry you. He's trying to make an offer of marriage to you now. Okay, he's expressing his love to you. And you're rejecting it. And he's in his feelings over it because you put an ending to this, to this cycle. So he's sad and heartbroken, okay? His, he, yes, look, he's going to make an offer to you. It's not much, but it's not, it's not what you need it to be for your growth and your healing, okay? Like, oh, this is, so you ended it, okay? That's what I'm getting. I'm getting it. It's just over because you need your healing. You're focused on healing right now, and that's just the most main important part. Now, also, you could be a star. You could have your own platform. You could be a spiritual or a religious leader, definitely okay on a worldwide platform with the world and the wheel of fortune okay this person sees you online or on the television and they get their emotions all they get so emotional for you and they're mad at themselves because they were actually god sent this person a star but they blocked out the star and chose the trajectory of their way and now they're looking about how you're the world to them and how you're everything and you're on this platform and how you doing the thing and so your counterpart came up the king and the queen of pentacles yeah so this person's angry yeah wish fulfillment you are this person's wish fulfillment but they rejected you so this is why they want to come in with this knight of cup offer is it genuine though holy spirit is this offer genuine or no like make it make sense 
Spirit said it's a genuine offer, but they're stressed out because they know what they did. They know what they did in the secret. This magic that backfired on their ass. So maybe Spirit said, no, the rejection, the backfiring is you rejecting this offer because the cycle has been closed. And God said, when I close it, I said I closed it. And that's the truth with the Ace of Swords coming up here, okay? And then God is getting ready to give you a brand new beginning. So whatever you're working on right now, it's getting ready to give you some type of generational wealth or some type of Ace of Pentacles. And you're getting ready to celebrate, okay? So God does not want you to steer from your path just because this man came in, okay? Timing is everything. And not to say you don't give second chances to make a first impression, but this person already made their impression. They slowed things down. They held on to somebody from the past and they made a judgment call to be guarded and defensive against you instead of just moving forward with you in this union, okay? Yeah, so now what's going on, Spirit? How are we going to, what's, what's the obstacle? The obstacle is you moving on. The obstacle is actually God because God said, I said what I said. I sent you my star. I sent you my healer. I sent this person to balance you out. I sent this person to come into union with you to be your, your ace of cups, your everything, okay? But this person decided to go the other the other way and close out the cycle, and now the wheel has turned. So now they're trying to reverse the wheel, but the wheel keeps on turning, rolling on the river. And so God is giving you a brand new collaboration with someone else or a new, a new another contract. So if this is a job or a boss situation, you have a boss that wants to come back, wants you to come back to work. Because you were their high producer or you were their star or something like that. But you already found something else or you're getting ready to find something better. So you're leaving this job behind to go get this. And at this new job, you're going to be celebrating. Okay, that's for sure. So congratulations for your new job. So tell us more about this King of Pentacles energy though. So it could be love or, or, or you know, relationship. He wants to come and give you some justice. This boss wants to come give you some justice or this um, King of Pentacles wants to come and give you some justice. Yeah, they want to tell you that they're sorry and you're their everything and they can't believe that they walked away from you because you're this person's wish fulfillment and they want to work on things with you now. Okay, but you're being very, very cool. You're in your masculine energy and masculine, you're, you're heavy in your masculine energy. You're like, no. Okay, you got your sword up and you're ready for a battle right now, okay? You're not playing these games. You're stronger now that you're in your masculine energy, taking power and taking control. You're holding on to your money and your finances. Spirit's advising you to hold on to your money and finances. Don't spend it frugally right now, okay? But this person has a lot of attraction and they have a lot of lust for you as well. This emperor energy is lusting for you. Mm. Child, they lusting for you. Look, they lust for you. Because they see you as the Ten of Pentacles. They see you as this earth angel, very balanced and angelic. Okay, you're very healing. Okay, so I don't know. So, Spirit, what do you say about this? What do you say about this energy? Spirit, say, go for it. Go for it. Take, take, go for it. Go for it. I'm just saying that's what Spirit say, go for it. Because... Regardless, you're still protected. It's just uh, depending on how healed you are and what you want to do in your life. But Spirit say you're going to hold back. You don't want to move forward. That's what I'm getting with this Knight of Pentacles. You're so focused on your bag right now and you're focused on whatever you're doing at work. You're just not moving right now. You're, you're, you feel like if you get into this relationship or any relationship right now at this point, it's going to cause some type of imbalancement to you. You're afraid to plug into the wrong energy. Okay, because you don't want to miss out on this. And I ain't mad at you for that, Gemini. You 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 being smart on that one. So should you like but spirit say go for it? I mean. Mm. What does this mean, spirit? Because somebody from your past. What does that mean, spirit? Because I don't know. They're in regret that they put you in a third party situation, this King of Pentacles energy. He feels defeated because you are the love of this person's life, period. And now he's feeling stuck. Maybe things aren't moving forward in his life. Ever since he walked away from you or chose somebody else, God is not blessing him with the blessings that were meant for the both of you. Okay? So now he's waiting. 
He's waiting to message you for the right time. I mean, timing is everything. Oh, Lord, but he's scared because he feels that he, you know, you look at him as toxic and he backs down and betrayed you. And he feels like you possibly know that he did some magic on you to cause some type of heavy burden in secret. Okay, but he wants for a removement with you. Now, this man is crazy. How are you going to do all that and then talk about you love somebody? Make it make sense, sir. You need to love yourself. He's in, he's obsessed with the Empress. The devil was right behind that. He's obsessed with the Empress and he wants to make an apology or he wants to reconcile. He wants to travel. He wants to give you, he like, he wants to tell you, he wants to spill his guts out to you. And that's what I'm getting. This person wants to come and travel to you and spill their guts to you. Cause they know that if they, unless they do the right thing and get some good karma in their energy, that they're going to continue to miss out on opportunities. So this person really, really wants to communicate with you because they really want to do the right thing because God is forcing this person's hand to do the right thing. I'm just saying, you know, this person is, oh, what else, spirit? Okay, well, he wants to marry you. He wants to marry you, period. But you're unsure. You don't know because you're like, I need a uh, look. I'm focused on my coin because the last time I was fucking with you or left you, the last time I was fucking with you, my money went down. But when I left your ass, my money went up. So I don't know if this is, a, this could be a test. I mean, Beer, you said go for it, but I don't know if that was like, are you, was that being sarcastic, go for it? Or was it like, yeah, go for it? Because, you know, the spirit is sarcastic sometimes. Okay. Was that a go for it, go for it spirit or what? They say go for it because Gemini, the lovers came up and the four of wands came up. Child with this offer, this person is loyal. They're trustworthy. Well, what was the obstacle? What, 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 they were unhealed. I don't know what's going on spirit. Okay, where is the energy of this person at now? Okay, can they be trusted though? I heard somebody else say, even if they can be trusted, I'm still walking away from this bitch. And I ain't mad at you, Jim and I, to balance out my own life. I heard that. That's what's up. See, that's where you know you're healing. Okay, when you're able to say, mm mm, when you're able to look back at the past and balance out and weigh out your options and not move recklessly, continuing to do the same thing to think you're going to get a different result. No, that's foolishness. So you're making wise, smart choices. And even if you don't pick this other energy, you still have a two of cups energy waiting for you. So right now the will has turned for you to get this ace of cups, whether it be with this, this king of pentacles or where he at back here, this king of pentacles or this other water sign. Okay. Back here somewhere. Yeah. You're going to have a decision to make. Okay. You do. So anything else, Holy Spirit? Hmm. This man is scared. I'm telling you, he is so nervous to the point where he has anxiety, heart palpitations. He gets nauseous just by the thought of coming towards you. He gets nauseated because he don't know what the hell to expect. He's scared. The moon is fear. He's scared to come in and say whatever he needs to say to you. Child, because he hope he gets some wish fulfillment. He really do. He really want this with you. But looking like how you going to do, Gemini, mm, I, yeah, I mean, hey, because you be like, I see already. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. And some of y'all so close to this Ten of Pentacles, you're not willing to risk it. It's too much of a risk. Yeah, you don't want a tower. So you're going to hold back from this energy. And this man is going to be in balance and feeling the woundy tried to come out, honey. Look, woundy tried to come out. Oh, that wasn't woundy. Was it woundy? No, it wasn't woundy. Not the ten of wands woundy. He want you. You want to move. You're holding back because you just want to move forward in victory and success. You don't have time to go back and forth, play ping pong. Okay, you need somebody that's already balanced in their life. Okay, right now you're resting. You're praying. You're communicating with divine and you i guess so for some of y'all y'all are getting the intuitive messages to walk away from this energy because you have a brand new beginning somewhere else okay mm, you about to reach honey you gonna have options let me just tell you yeah and this is what this man is worried about this is your emperor though okay Ooh, yeah gemini i'm telling you this is your emperor 
This man has now have he has structure and discipline. So he could be a Capricorn because I did pick up Earth, and I say Capricorn because the devil came out right here, and then Cap, and then we have Earth right here with this offer. So this man is literally entrapped in his mind by making this offer and getting an equal give and take with you because um he's scared. But he does have structure and discipline though, and he wants to come forward and take charge of the situation. But the obstacle is that you're looking at him like, as a liar. Like, you don't know, like, hmm, I'm not sure if I want to invest in that type of energy. Like, because you already know this energy. Like, they showed you their hand. And so you're going to leave it on red when this when this person messages you. You're going to be like, mm mm, I don't give a damn. For some of y'all, y'all going to be waiting on your Two of Cups energy. But this person's going to be pissed off because he's like, damn it, you're my Two of Cups. And that's why his fist is balled up on his hand because he has. He knows now. He knows who you are. But the fucked up part is he backs down and betrayed you. So, I mean, that's why I tell people to be careful how they move. I feel like this man judged you. What was it? What's, what, why did, what, uh, Spirit, what was he thinking before he walked away from Gemini High Vibe, Cross Watcher? What was he thinking? He was thinking about having uh, his options. He had a sex addiction. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I think because he was low vibrational, it's Capricorn energy, and you were high vibrational. Your mind is on God, and his mind is on sex. He wanted to chain you. Didn't I tell you he did a magic spell to bind or chain you to him? Okay, but it backfired because you're the free. You see, these lovers, they're not chained together. Her mind is on God and the angels, and that's where your mind is at right now. Okay, so that's why you guys didn't, you weren't an equally yoked fit at that time. But God had to bring this person through a dark night of a soul and give them some type of ascension or rebirth. So now they realize who you are. And so now this person wants to make a solid offer because they did backstab and betray you. They did make you the other person. But now they realize that you're their two of cups and they want to they wanna make you their everything. He, This man is passionate about you and he wants to take charge and move forward. But he's just trying to figure out. He don't know what to do. He's he's he confused about this investment. He's wondering, will you invest in me if I invest? If I come forward and invest in you, will you? Will you? Okay. He's trying to plot, plan, and strategize how he gonna come and move forward towards you. Yeah, he could be a conning, lying, whatever. I don't know, but I'm I'm not getting that. I'm getting with this. This person did. The, they were they deceptive in their feelings of how they felt about you because they still wanted to be in their player energy, okay? But now this man has been forced into some type of spiritual awakening with this hermit card, has went within somehow, some way, form, fashion, compliments of God, and now this man wants to give you an equal give and take. And he's all in his head about it, okay? This man got a big thing too. I just want to let you know, and if he ain't big, he know how to work it. But this man is in prison because oh, it's just you, Gemini, all over you. His decisions that he made in his life, he didn't make the right choices as far as the mate came, the soul, the soul mate came. He chose somebody else. Now he's in regret that he wants to come forward to you. But I don't know. I don't know. It's a catch-22. I mean, you may or you may not. You're going to just probably take a leap of faith on yourself and Whatever you do, you're going to listen to the ancestors and that and that. By that, it might be a missed opportunity because then that's when you're going to go through a rebirth. Maybe another rebirth. Okay? Once you pass this again. Once you cross this again. Okay? This situation again. Yeah, you, you're going to walk away from some type of illusion. Why is it an illusion here, spirit? Why is the illusion? Is this man trying to cause illusions or what's, it's not what it seems or what's going on with that? Why is the seven of cups? And I'm going to end it, y'all. It's an illusion because this man might be, ooh, wait a minute, hold on. He might be poor. He might have took a financial loss, okay? He might have taken a financial loss in whatever he invested in for his flighty king of wand ways. He could be in a financial loss. And you're probably end up going to walk away from him. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. So maybe you weren't in a financial situation or you weren't at this queen of pentacles at that time. You probably were at the page of pentacles and then you walked away from him or he walked away from you. You started some type of business online, whatever you glue up and stepped into your empress energy. Now it's a missed opportunity. So now this man feeling some kind of way, because like I said, he's seeing you on TV somewhere. He's seeing you on the worldwide stage 
And it's like all these emotions are coming up for you now because now he's looking at you as this empress energy and wants to come and take action towards you to come and have some type of reconciliation with you. But it's like I said, it's just a missed opportunity because he went down the wrong path and then you went down a whole nother path and then you have the world at your hands now. So some of your jobs could be, you know, interjecting the world online, bringing people happiness, whatever the case may be, making money, doing your thing. And now things are just different. The tables have turned. The time, yeah. So now this man is just stuck in the fork in the road. So Gemini, that's been your energy. I don't know what the hell this is, but I love you so much and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.